Oh, he's Robin with OxyDry. Oh, we're doing a challenging job today. And uh, just this one room. But uh, somebody was uh, not caring about how they lived in. Apparently the whole rest of the house was a real mess. But this is the only room that has carpet, so here we are. We're trying to restore it. And uh, we'll see how that goes. But anyway, here's our, our brand new uh, commercial dirt cup sanitaire vacuum. And we've been using it now for, uh, I guess we've had it for nearly a week. Um, and we're really liking it. Really got uh, power this thing. A little bit different than our modified Kirby. And we're sort of trying to get the hang of its uh, strengths and weaknesses compared to the Kirby, but um, it's certainly uh, is comparing very favorably. Um, we're finding it a little bit more maneuverable. We're not sure if it's actually picking up better or not. It certainly is picking up very well because you've been getting a lot of the usual skin cells and, and a lot of hair and junk in, in the vacuum, even when people have vacuumed, like the one we did this morning, where the lady had pre-vacuumed the one bedroom and a set of stairs, and uh, we had the vacuum about a quarter full. So it certainly is working well. Steve does almost all the vacuuming now. I don't have to do that much anymore. I just handle the main machine. Usually. Looks nice for having a helper around. And he seems to be quite happy to do that every day. In the closet there. I'll move the door for him. There we go. Lots of stains on this carpet. Lots of debris. Um, as you can see. I am boosting my cleaner. I put um, radical rinse in the solution, or I'm about to anyway. Um, and uh, I will be pre-spraying this carpet. Something I don't normally do. One of the things, uh, one of the jobs we were doing earlier today, I did notice that uh, this vacuum does lift the carpet off the underpad. So that's an indication of how much airflow it's uh, producing. Any vacuum that will lift the carpet off the underpad has definitely got lots of oomph. <laughs> it's uh, important to make sure you've got, you've got the uh, height adjustment just right. And we're getting used to how that one how it reacts to the carpet. Different carpets have a different feel. And um, so I'm actually going to stop filming this and then I'm going to do another video just showing me actually doing the cleaning. So I'll end up with uh, probably about three videos or so just for this one job alone. The, the edge, to, edge cleaning vacuum, the uh, sanitary vacuum and then the actual cleaning. So uh, hopefully I'll be able to put them up in order too. Wouldn't that be nice? As you can see it's... Uh, Got a piece of oh no, there we go, we got it. Picking up the junk out of the carpet, and that bag is uh, it's filling up. And uh, it's really important, you know, it's amazing that a lot of carpet cleaners will not even vacuum a carpet like this before they clean them, and this is that's absolutely not going to work. There's a lot of junk coming up, you can feel the floor vibrating underneath us. By the way, from that power head and the brush roll, it's really aggressive. And that's what you need in a situation like this. Got to show the carpenter's boss. So anyway, I'll stop the video here and then we'll continue on with the cleaning phase.